So Warzone 2 is a complete downgrade from Warzone 1. It's boring, it's slow, there's no skill gap, the movement is just painful, and well, that's according to all the content creators. This commentary was kind of sparked by this tweet from Charlie Intel, one of the prominent Twitter handles that cover Call of Duty for the most part, 2.6 million followers, so that, you know, they have a bit of a reach. It says, fill in the blank, or hashtag Warzone 2 needs blank to be fun again. And when I'm hearing this, I'm like, it's fun right now. I think the big thing is I'm coming into Warzone 2 more as a casual fan rather than like someone who plays this on the daily basis because I'm mainly known for my Halo content on this channel, but I just in this mood right now, I'm like, I don't understand why there's so much hate. It seems like the majority of the community is not enjoying this. And there certainly are things that need to be addressed, need to be fixed. Like there's actual broken things within this game. Like you're when you're buying your loadout, the perks actually don't get put onto your character for whatever reason. You need to buy a default loadout build then you can actually have the perks. Which yeah, obvious issue, needs to be addressed, probably will get fixed sometime soon. But it seems like a lot of the like, complaints about Warzone 2 are down to like a fundamental level, like uh, just how the gameplay is, moves, how the guns work, how your player character moves and things like that. And Tifu kind of goes really hard on it in this clip. I'm doing all that I can do. And it's just not enough for this terrible, Zero skill gap, boomer, controller, f***ing idiot, plasma screen, TV, f***ing seven kids, f***ing default, f***ing GameStop remote from 2008, console, f***ing Xbox One bullshit, dog game, dude. Turtle beaches, f***ing connect mic, Wi-Fi adapter on the back. Obviously, he's venting frustrations, probably doesn't mean half the things he says, but everything he's mentioned there, I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that it's like that right now. Because my biggest complaint when it came to playing Warzone 1 and also Mono for 2019's multiplayer was that I felt like you just needed to be like some cracked out weirdo to be able to just be somewhat competitive in the game. I'm trying my ass off just to break even. And I'm a long time Call of Duty player. I kind of got started back in the Modern for 2 era. Like I had a three plus kill death ratio in Black Ops 1, which I mean, that's that's something, right? I mean, that era from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 2, I played Call of Duty a lot and was somewhat competent, decent at the game. I got a few MOABs in Modern Warfare 3. I've got a few nukes in Modern Warfare 2. I had a pretty decent KD in Black Ops 1. So like I put some time to get decent at the game but now when i came back during the modern warfare 2019 era it just was like a completely different experience i was just like dude these guys are doing absolutely everything they possibly can just to have like a two to one kill death ratio and i'm just like dude that's just not me and that's just not how i enjoy playing call of duty because i always viewed it as more of a fun social kind of multiplayer experience where like if you have some knowledge you use logical cover you don't just run out into the open you'll be a pretty good player and that felt like that was lost with the most recent editions of call of duty where if you're not slide canceling if you're not jiggle peeking every possible little corner that like you're just gonna be completely smashed by the skill-based matchmaking so the fact that the gameplay is slower, that slide canceling is effectively canceled. I think there's still a way you can do it, but I haven't come across anybody pulling that kind of stuff off. Again, could just be my SBMM skill bracket, but I'm just not seeing it. The doc even tweeted out saying, I'd rather get strangled in a jacuzzi than play Warzone 2. And I'm like, guy, is it? Come on, man. It's not that bad, is it? Like, is it? I feel like I'm Mugatu from Zoolander. I'm like, am I taking crazy pills over here? And to touch on the skill gap thing that we kind of touched on a little bit earlier, this is from Modern Warzone. Again, a very prominent community member within the Call of Duty community saying, trying to find the skill gap in Warzone 2. And yeah, it's, it's saying that it's pretty small, which I think that kind of ties into one, the faster time to kill that's within this game, which personally, I would like to see that extended out a bit more. Though I don't really mind how it is at the moment, I saw a lot of people talk about like how the skill gap is probably like a lot of the movement has been removed from the previous game where you're not as fast as you were. You can't slide cancel. It's just like less outplay opportunities from your ability to press buttons in a certain way. And kind of like I touched on earlier, I think that's a good thing that they removed a lot of stuff or dampened it down a bit to where it's not so prominent where you have to do that stuff to be somewhat competitive. As long as you just kind of play logically, utilize power positions, maybe a building here or there, and maintain decent accuracy, you can play the game and you'll be doing just fine for yourself. That also carries over to the multiplayer side of things as well. I've actually played this Call of Duty multiplayer the most probably since Black Ops 2 and enjoyed it the most probably since 
Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1 era? Because the gameplay is slower, less cracked out booty sliding across the map, it's more about positioning, map knowledge, spawn knowledge, and just kind of being more of a classic Call of Duty experience, which I'm actually really enjoying. Joe Will, who's a much more prominent player within Call of Duty, be be much better of a player than I ever can be or ever will be, does a pretty decent job of kind of explaining the whole Warzone 1 versus Warzone 2 thing here. So I went back and played some Warzone 1 solo quads, and honestly, probably the most fun I've had in a while. Now, before I see the comments, skill issue, no jerky movement, blah, 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 blah. I've already dropped 30 bombs on console and on PC in Warzone 2. I've dropped nukes with literal starter pistol only. I've already done it all in this game. The number one thing that's lacking about Warzone 2 is the ability to just see yourself get better at a game. I always love to know that I'm getting better at something and progress. And in Warzone 2, I feel like with the lack of outplay abilities, you can still 1v4 team, you can still drop 30 bombs, but you're going to be dying in more random ways because the game is catering to more of the casual, slower players. Ah, bro, people are going to be pissed. I feel like we're an update or two away from a really, really good game in Warzone 2. Now, I'm not saying to bring back slide canceling, but even things like plating and running, or just even increasing the base movement speed a little bit would just help out a ton. I really do like Warzone 2, and I I like wars on one but let me know what you guys think so a lot to unpack right there he also mentioned about the lack of outplay ability if that's even a word but i think he's kind of more referred to slide canceling maybe breaking cameras and things like that having slower movements which personally i hope they don't go that route but it does seem like raven studios who is running the warzone side of things are kind of going more towards the warzone one style of play with the introductions of the lower cost when it comes to loadouts as well as your weapon which has its own downsides and benefits which we'll talk about a little bit in this video it says the number one thing he doesn't like about warzone 2 is that you don't really notice yourself getting better at the game which I would doubt that because I've noticed myself getting better at the game, but of course me coming as a casual fan. Joe over there who has been spending hours and hours and hours playing Warzone, he's already probably one of those top tier players that like, he's not really seeing himself getting better at the game, maybe just better map knowledge because a lot of the skill sets that he learned back in Warzone 1 are not exactly transferring over to Warzone 2 as the gameplay movement style is much more simplified than warzone one i still feel like there's plenty of room for, to learn to get better at the game and he mentioned about dying in more random ways well i would say it was far more random in warzone one at how you would die compared to warzone two especially in warzone one which was the one shot capability if you hit a headshot with a sniper rifle that was totally random if you went towards anywhere in uh, with buildings in verdansk and you're staying still for more than like a minute you're going to get shot by someone with a sniper rifle and probably get to go check out the gulag and maybe with that slower play of warzone 2 you find more people on top of roofs or in buildings which would cause much more random experience because you're just like getting shot from the millions of windows that are on the map but there are easily ways around it you just have to play a little different rather than playing it like warzone 1 in warzone 2 Find some other ways to go about that. I've been finding ways like traversing the map. You want to avoid being out in the open as much as possible. Well, that's just kind of any BR, really. Grab a vehicle. You can drive a vehicle and you'll be able to get from A to B rather relatively safe with not taking too much damage. Yeah, you show up on the map and you prefer to be a bit more stealthy, but I would much rather be going from A to B and be able to get to B than die on the way there. And people always talk about the slower play of Warzone 2, which I actually personally prefer mainly because you don't get third party as much in this game as you did back in warzone one i feel like in warzone one you shot some people you're going to bring in the attention of a second and third squad jumping in on you and well even if you did win your initial gunfight you're low on plates you're low on ammo you're going to get cleaned up by somebody else which certainly still happens in warzone 2 but it's not nearly as prominent as it was back in warzone 1. Also, the ground loot is very usable in this game, which I actually really enjoy. Oftentimes when developers try to make like weapon loadouts, it's like an Uzi with an ACOG scope. Like, yeah, that doesn't make any possible sense whatsoever. I feel like a lot of the ground loot you find in Warzone 2 is genuinely very viable, even against the meta weapons, which we'll talk about a little bit in this video. I know a big thing that people are complaining about the ground loot from the boxes is more about money because money is what gets you your loadout it gets you your loadout weapons gets you your perks gets you your kill streaks and that's what kind of keeps this game moving but in warzone 1 you just open up crates and you eventually find enough money you can buy back your teammate or do whatever you want with that kind of money in warzone 2 it doesn't really work like that where 
to get money in Warzone 2, you mainly have to complete these contracts, which makes it feel like you kind of have to go do something in the game that you maybe not want to do to be able to get the kind of reward that you need. But I think that's exactly what you needed to do from Warzone 1 to Warzone 2 is to create a bit of an incentive to be more active on the map rather than just trying to slay out everything. Because I remember in Warzone 1, I didn't bother with contracts whatsoever. I would just jump in, open up a bunch of boxes, get enough money, call in my loadout kit, and I was like, good for the rest of the match. Maybe for the next four or five circles, all I cared about was ammo. Or in Warzone 2, you need to be more engaged with the game. You need to do these objectives, do these save crackers, do these different type of objectives to where you can get that cash that you need or do something that you need to do to be able to bring back your team. Like, click on a most wanted contract and then be able to survive that bring back your team, making players actually earn that money. And so then when they do call in their loadouts, they actually deserve to have them rather than just clicking on a few boxes for that for five minutes and then don't have to worry about looting for the rest of the game. Now the faster TTK in this game, I would definitely like to see that increase a bit. Have the armor plates be a little bit buffed a little bit, maybe 75 damage per shot compared to 50. But I actually kind of like the time to kill right now in Warzone 2 because oftentimes I felt like within Warzone 1, it was a battle of attrition. I'm just kind of, pop shot at each other left and right you'd play it up and do it again play it back up do it again and especially if you're dealing with squads of people you put one guy put some shots into him he's gonna fall run around the corner call him back up from his teammates and it just becomes a whole mess i always felt like call of duty it's always been kind of like that hide and seek but with guns kind of thing and they try to carry that over a little bit more with warzone too which yeah, I like to see the TTK increase a little bit, but maybe just bring up the Warzone 1 levels, I'd be fine with that. As it stands right now, I really don't mind it. Now, some of the genuine issues I have with this game are definitely the directional footsteps. When I hear footsteps, it just kind of sounds like it's just mono. Like, I, sometimes you can pick out where they're coming from, but to tell, like, maybe elevation, if they're above you or below you, or something like that, it's just really tough to tell in this game. Now, I actually kind of like that the footsteps are not as prominent as they were in Warzone 1. Uh, they're less clear and less able to decide where direction you're coming from, at least loud enough to where you can hear them within the vicinity, which it actually kind of helps uh, to me speed up the gameplay a bit where you can be more aggressive, run up those stairs and be able to outplay somebody. I definitely do expect to see those footstep audio be patched up probably continually throughout this year to where they get them in a good state. There'll probably be big swings of being too audible, some swings of being unaudible, and she'll eventually find like a middle ground there. But I definitely would like to see that improved a bit, though I do like having it so that you don't hear footsteps like a mile away and just kind of camp out on a corner waiting for someone to come around it. And we touched on it earlier with the one-shot sniper rifles. I would just like to see a guaranteed downed headshot. I think having a one-shot kill headshot while it can create some awesome clips when it comes to long range engagements i just feel like it can be a little unfair to people who have no idea that you're being sniped out by people at least give people the opportunity to counter when it comes to snipe shots i've been using the sniper rifle quite a bit within warzone 2 and it does seem somewhat viable to where at least like at long distances you can at least down players or pick them off i mean i've been able to get kills with sniper rifles in this game so it hasn't been too crazy but they definitely are less effective as they were in warzone 1. one thing that definitely needs to get addressed is the self res ability in this game it is basically assume that if you down somebody from mid game to late game that they should have a self res on them which i personally do not like now i don't mind with self reses being in the game i think that's an excellent feature to have i just would like to see them be way less prominent probably like 30 percent as prominent as they are right now or if you have a self res you can only hold one instead of holding multiple self revives within yourself and maybe if you change that self revive pistol to only work on other players rather than yourself this certainly happened multiple times within warzone 2 where i was able to genuinely outplay people but maybe just kind of was able to slide behind a rock his teammate comes around the corner and we're getting into our own engagement and then i take them down but since i'm already damaged the guy who self res gets back up takes me out pretty easily that can be very frustrating when I know I genuinely outplayed both of those players, but since they have a little ace up their sleeve, multiple of them most likely, that they're able to take me down, which is, it can be really frustrating. So yeah, the self res thing, that definitely needs to be toned down quite a bit. And the last thing I want to touch on in this video, guys, is the current weapon meta, the RPK long range and the Fennec close range meta, because 
It's become much more prominent with the lower cost of your loadout weapons and loadouts just in general. Before the price decrease, I found myself coming across more people with different varieties of weapons and it was everyone just kind of trying to make the best of what they can. And if you really succeeded in the game, you did the contracts, as we mentioned earlier, you got the cash that you need to get your loadout weapon. That would totally make sense. Now, every single lobby I come into, everyone's using an RPK, everyone's using a Fennec, there is no other option, and you're basically reliving and recycling the experience of Warzone 1, which, you know, I kind of understand making it more viable as, you know, your whole idea of Warzone, what makes it unique is to be able to customize your loadout, but it seems a bit too easy to get that loadout now. Or for me, it's a race to get $2,500 to get my RPK. And then after that, I'm just kind of more worried about ammo and plates rather than actually looting and engaging with contracts. And I'm just strictly focusing on just slaying people at that point. But tell me this, am I crazy for enjoying Warzone 2 the way it is right now? 